It's the final day of the inaugural Africa Amateur Championship from Leopard Creek. And with just 18 holes left to play, here's how we stand. Christian Maas making the most of moving day to rocket himself into second place, a shot behind Ivan Verster. With Alton van der Merwe rounding out our final group. With Alton van der Merwe rounding out our final group. The sun is out, the temperatures are scorching. Come join me and see how it all unfolds. We start off with Keegan Schutt with a birdie opportunity at the par five second hole. A big man for just a, a young bloke, only 17 years old, and that second hole provided a lot of highlights yesterday. It's had five eagles for the week, and wow, look at that card, a back nine to gaze over. What a rollicking start for the young Zimbabwe. One of three Zimbabweans who made the cut this week. Overnight leader, Ivan Fester with a wonderful putt. And now for the man who lit it up yesterday. He had his work cut out for him here on the third, going over the tree and making it look easy. After a solid start with three birdies, things began to unravel for Alton van der Merwe at the par three seventh hole. Misjudging the line in length, finding himself in the penalty area. He wasn't the only one to find the water. Vestia also found the drink, but made amends here with a great bogey save. How important will those shots be later today? Every single one counts. First round leader, Matthew Bramford. This for birdie at the tough par four eight hole. Races it past. And you can see that slope at the front of the screen on the same hole. First there was way down there. He's got to use some serious finesse to pop it into that slope. And he does so beautifully. And a deserving clap from his playing partner, Van der Merwe there. Highly appreciated. From the other end, tentative downhill slick putt. Christian Maas to save part and remain in a tie for the lead at this moment. Has he hit it? Has he hit it? Understandably so, leaves it short. Keegan shoot. This was earlier actually at the sixth. Oh, <laughs> great touch from off the green there from Keegan. Wow, look at that. Wait, look at that. Oh, gee, that is serious shooting. very safely, hoping that the slope works the ball, and it does to an extent. Keep going, a little bit of creativity, and a birdie chance, an outside chance. In 2003, held the President's Cup. It was a famous half between any else and Tiger Woods, and this man was born a day after that. And what a birdie for Ivan Fester. birdies for the group yes it does it trickles in the very last roll van der Merwe says you might have joined me for the lead now but i'm going to take it right back back to keegan shoot he is currently 10 under par on track for a course record can he find a way to make par on the last we saw a 63 yesterday that is a good start from the fairway trap. A nervous two putt coming up. <laughs> Keegan shoot. 10 under par for the day. Can he make it 11? Sit down. Sit down. He has got that little oh. knee knocker oh. to break the course record. A double bogey here yesterday, so there'll be a few bad memories. Can he compose himself? Oh, he certainly can. He certainly can. What a shot when it needed. He has been so impressive. Bogey par 30. It's the only option now is a hole in one. Lovely shot on the side. Two great tee shots there in that group. The final group. Keegan shoot.
sets a new course record. We've seen Orki Stradom, Louis Oosthuizen, and Christian Maas post 63s here at Leopard Creek. But take a bow, Keegan Shoot. A bogey free 62, 10 under par. He cannot and will not wipe the smile off that face. What a day he has had. Oh, hold the phone. A hole out eagle. Look at that. He's taken a lot of the hole with him. Son Dalson, what a golf shot. What a highlight. And here he is. Repairing his pitch mark. It's a pretty good one to repair. I think Christian needs us to keep within touching distance. Just keep his fingernails there. And he does just that. That is a superb birdie too. Inside left, no problems for Ivan Fester. Pulls level with Alton van der at 13 under par. Big moment this in the championship. Oh, really good effort. Yeah, he had a tremendous part as well. Hard luck, it just peeled away at the last moment. Oh my goodness. That is a great way to bounce back after dropping a shot. Give yourself a golden chance for a bird. To join the lead. Oh and my a gosh. opportunity gone begging. He's due a good one. He needs a good one. And he's got a good one. Branford is miles away here on 16. He's got to go up over the slope. And then now it should start trickling down towards the flag. You are kidding me. Ho oh. ho. Matthew Bramford has made a birdie from another park. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Never count Christian out. Birdie's 15. He's just one behind. That's short. close to holding on to a two-shot lead that would have been a mighty blow he'll drop one back Ivan Versta just leads by one now you get the sense he is just going at this needs to sit oh it does so what a moment what a clutch shot from Christian Mas here he comes over to you, Ivan Fester. He's staring it down. Oh, another great shot. Those two putts will be so important. Oh, it's looking good. Stay up. Oh, my goodness. What a fantastic try that is, Alton van der Oh, my goodness. The drama continues. Oh. Amazing approach shot when he needed it most. And he converts. He now shares the lead at the Africa Amateur Championship with just one hole remaining. Iron it up. Look central. Oh! It's better than central, it's magical! What a shot under pressure. A shot of a lifetime from Van der Merwe. 
of Ivan Peste here. Come on, has he hit it? Oh my goodness, no he hasn't. That's a par. So the mark is 13 under par officially. Tournament on the African continent for amateurs. And he misses the bird. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. We potentially, we potentially have a three-way playoff. The inaugural Africa amateur is on the line right here. Alton van der Merwe has... No. Oh, my gosh. You wouldn't dream about it. Oh. You wouldn't dream about it. We are going back to the 18th. And that has missed. Missed by the smallest insect in all of the safari. Oh, 13 under par. Seems to love it. Oh, that is golden. That is just simply superb. That is way down there. Way down there. Spot looks okay. Looks like the middle of the green. Not taking that pin on. Just needs to sit. Oh, he has flushed it. He's flushed it too well. And that has gone long and is wet. Similar reaction. Needs this one to sit as well. It's comfortably dry. Good breath of fresh air. Take it in. Baby draw with the wedge straight at it. Will it bounce? Will it sit? Okay. Job done. Not as much spin as he would have liked, but a huge chance for Birdie. Here we go. Keep coming around. Has to go a little bit. Has to go a little bit. There's a bit of interest on that, a bit of meat on the bone. Ever so slightly yet again, Christian Maas. Alton van der Merwe is the king of the jungle. Clinches the Africa Amateur Championship here at Leopard Creek in the first playoff hole with a birdie. Sees off Christian Maas and Ivan Fester. What a moment. He stands tall above all here at Leopard Creek. The 27-year-old celebrates what is a truly fantastic victory for him and his amateur career. Well done. What a way to do it. He's played the last two holes in fine style. Back-to-back -back booties on 18 to now be crowned champion of the wilderness. I sense a little bit of emotion in your voice. Just what does this moment, this victory, mean to you in your amateur career? Uh, everything. I mean, I think I, I cried a little bit in my bed when I when I heard I was in the S Open. So hearing I'm in the Open, is, I'll feel cry a little bit later. I'll try and keep it in now. But um, it's it's a dream come true from playing a PC game and since I was eight years old and playing these courses that I don't even know about till till now. So. Now getting the opportunity just to play with the big guys, I mean, it's an absolute, it's an absolute dream. What a special day of golf to round out a truly incredible championship. There is your final leaderboard. Alton van der Merwe comes from three shots back to win in a dramatic playoff. Hats off to Ivan Verster and Christian Maas, with Matthew Branford's four under 68, getting him into double digits under par. But booking his spot in the Amateur Championship at Ballyliffin and the 152nd Open Championship at Royal Troon. It's Alton van der Merwe who stands tall as King of the Pride. We can't wait to see you next year.